Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we will be solving multi-step expressions. So what to expect is that we will be doing multi-step expressions, substitution to solve them, and of course practicing to try and solidify those ideas. A multi-step expression is basically a math sentence with multiple operations. A couple examples I'll show you here on the board um, of these different multi-step expressions. In other words, you're going to be doing, for example, in this blue one right here, you'll be doing 5 subtraction minus and then 6 times n. So you're doing subtraction and multiplication. That's a two-step expression because it takes two steps to solve it. Um, this one here has many steps, 7 times b. And then you're multiplying that times the quantity of 5 times a minus c. So there's a lot of different steps inside of here. That's what basically a multi-step expressions are. So let's go ahead and substitute to solve a couple of these multi-step um, expressions. So the first one we're going to do is 6x plus 5y when we're given that x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 2. The first step is that I substitute 8 in for x and 2 in for y. And then I do the multiplication. 6 times 8 is 48. 5 times 2 is 10. Then we do our addition. You are always following the order of operations, so we'll do our multiplication before we do our addition. And that is always the case. You'll always do the multiplying before the um, addition, unless it's inside of parentheses. So now here's a question for you to try out. Try solving the same exact expression, only when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 8. Pause the recording and try and do that one. All right, was your first step to substitute x equals 2, y equals 8? Your second step was to do the multiplication. 6 times 2 is 12. 5 times 8 is, is 40. And then to add them, wow, look, the same answer. I'm totally kidding. It's actually 52. Um, I was just messing with you a little bit there. So <laughs> the actual answer for that is 52. Hopefully that's what you got when you went ahead and substituted and solved for that one. Let's do a little bit of practice with one of the problems that we had on the first board. Um, 4n plus 4m plus 4p. n is equal to 1, m is equal to 2, p is equal to 3. Go ahead and try that one out. Pause the recording, try and do it on your own, then come back and I'll show you a full solution. Hi, welcome back. Our first step is substituting. We substitute the value of 1 into this expression where we see the letter n. We substitute 2 where we see the letter m and 3 where we see the letter p. Next we're going to do our multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 3 is 12. All multiplication gets finished before we do any addition. Now we're going to do our addition. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. That should be your final answer for this question. In this next question, we have a couple more operations. 7b times the quantity of 5a minus c, when a equals 5, b equals 3, and c equals 8. The first step is that we are going to substitute each number in for the variable. So a equals 5 b equals 3 and c equals 8. Be careful because the letters are not in order. It doesn't go a, b, c in the actual expression. It's b, a, c. So make sure that those are correctly placed in there. In our next step, we're going to do the multiplication. 7 times 3 is 21. We can also do 5 times 5 is 25 inside the parentheses there because they don't impact each other. We'll simplify that. The next step is to solve what is inside the parentheses. 25 minus 8 gives us 17. And in the end, we have 21, and the parentheses are, are around 17. This means multiplication. Although there's no multiplication symbol of any kind, when you have a, a number next to parentheses like that, it implies that you multiply. So 21 times 17 gives you 357. 
I have a practice question for you. I've changed one thing about this expression. I've inserted one subtraction symbol. So it's 7b minus the quantity of 5a minus c. The variables are the same. The expression is mainly the same. I want you to go ahead and give this one a shot. I'm going to pause the recording, or you should pause the recording, and do this one on your own. The first step for solving this is to substitute the values in b equals 3, a equals c, a equals 5, and c equals 8. When we substitute those values in, this is what we get. Our next step is multiplying 7 times 3 and 5 times 5, just like we did in the previous one. Now we have 25 minus 8 inside the parentheses. We'll simplify that down to being 17, and we subtract 21 minus 17. Notice when we have a, an operation symbol between 7b and the quantity of 5a minus c, we have to do that operation, 21 minus 17. In our previous question, there was no operation, no addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division symbol, so it was implied that we did multiplication. Now to make things extra hard, I've given you a practice question where I, it's the same exact expression, only I've changed the variables to all being negative. So try that one out. That will give you quite a bit of um, um, a challenge. Go ahead and solve that one. Pause the recording, see what you come up with, and then I'll show you how to solve it. Our first step is substitution, just like before. We substitute negative numbers into this expression. Now, when you substitute those negative numbers, we like to put parentheses around the outside of them um, to just say this is a negative number. So it makes it look a lot more complicated than in our previous question. But we're going to simplify it in the same steps. We'll start out multiplying 7 times negative 3 and 5 times negative 5. 7 times negative 3 gives us negative 21, and 5 times negative 5 gives us negative 25. I did simplify one more thing. Whenever I see minus negative, minus negative 8, I change that into plus 8. That's a rule for subtracting integers. When you subtract an integer, it's the same as adding the opposite. So we're going to change minus negative 8 into being plus 8. It'll make our lives easier. In our next step, we are going to join together the terms inside of the brackets, negative 25 plus 8. Negative 25 and a positive 8, the signs are different, so we subtract them. 25 minus 8 is 17. And because there are more negatives than positives, our answer will be negative. So we have negative 17. Once I simplify that, notice I have another minus negative situation here. I like showing you examples of this because you'll see a lot of those on tests and things of that nature. So negative 21 minus negative 17. I rewrite that as negative 21 plus 17. I like to get rid of those minus negatives. I think that they're confusing. So now I have uh, negative 21 plus 17. The signs are different, so I'm going to find the difference. I am subtracting 21 minus 17, which gives me 4. And because there are more negatives than positives, 21 negatives, only 17 positives, my answer is going to be negative 4. That's all for today's lesson. We did multi-step expressions with substitution and lots of practice. Go back and take a look at some of those questions if you need some more practice. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.